Some of you can relate to this if you have siblings. Some of it have, may have never happened to you. But for the ones who have, you'll really understand my analogy. First of all, I can't compare anything to Jesus. But I'm going to try to paint this picture for you to try to get you to understand the significance of what, what he did for us. Think if you had a big brother or a big sister and the two of you were together alone and you did something really wrong, terribly, something to get you in trouble. And when, when your parents got home, they looked around and they said, who did this? And you said, just as you was about to open your mouth to confess that you did it, your sister or your brother jumped up and said, it was me. I'll take the blame. And your mother and your father, being upset, they pull out their belts and they go to town on your big brother or big sister while you watch. And the whole time, your big brother screaming, hollering, and crying, going through this anguish for something that you did, taking it. For you. Now, any person in their right mind would say, that's not fair. I would stop it and say, no, no, no. It was me. The only difference is this mother and father was sitting there beating your brother or sister to death. Literally. And they died. Can you imagine how that would make you feel? Can you imagine what would be running through your head? Now your brother, your sister, gone. See, that's the difference. That's the thing. When Jesus came, he came for one reason. He came to absorb the punishment of everyone prior to him being on this earth and everyone to come after him until his second coming therefore everything that we you and I have done is worthy of being stripped beaten thorns to the head and you name it everything that we did it's worth us going to hell for it's worth all of that. But here comes Jesus, the blameless one, innocent. Could have said no, could have said, I'm going to live my life and use the powers that I have. But he didn't. He came and he served in the process. He could have even lived it up, up until it was that time. Thirty three and a half years. But he didn't. He still served. He still gave. He washed feet. He made the blind see. He made the lame walk. He did so many wonderful and miraculous things in the process of what he inevitably had to face because of what you and I do or have done. Sin. You sin every day whether you know it or not. But this, but, but the Spirit came in the form of a man and said, I'll take their beating. I'll take their punishment. Because God wanted to punish us. Somebody had to atone for these sins. But Jesus said, I'll take it. And at the end of the day, he was beat to death. And left to hang. So he went through an agony. For you and me. For something we did. And here we are in this world every day. And we go out there and we sin like it's nothing. We go out there and we do the things that we know we're not supposed to do like it's nothing. Just grieving the spirit. So my friend. Since we were supposed to go to hell, 
since we all have sinned, since we all should have been beaten, since we all should have been put on the cross, and since we all should have bared our own cross, but Jesus came and bared the cross for us. He took the stripes for us. He took the thorns to his skull and traded it, traded his crown for those thorns. Since he did all of those things and he knew what he was about to face, that's why in the Garden of Gethsemane, <coughs> he, pleaded with, he pleaded with God and said, is there any other way? But it had to be done. And he took it like a man that we'd never be. All in hope of us being able to be with him. Then he died and went to hell. But thank God he took the key. Nobody goes to hell unless they want to go to hell. Unless they live in to go to hell. No matter what you've done in your life. All you've got to do is say, Lord, forgive me for my sins in Jesus' name. That's all you have to do. And not only does God forgive you, but he forget that it's ever happened. It's the enemy who reminds you of what you used to be. But you can change. Change happens with your mind. It's a process for the desires to go away. But change is the decision. You can change. We can change. But that's your brother. That's your sister. That's your mother. That's your father taking that beating for you and dying for you. Only difference is he was raised from the dead. Hmm. You can't bring your brother and sister back. But Jesus was raised from the dead. So he lives today. When you think of it like that, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you want to say, you know what? Jesus, you're my Lord and you're my Savior. I love you. I need you. And I want you to be not only the Savior of my life, but the Lord of my life and Lord over my life and Holy Spirit out the way. Have your way with me. That's really all you have to do. And he'll get inside of you just like a tea bag in water. And you notice when the tea bag goes in water, that water's never the same. And you're never the same either. I'm not saying you're not going to face challenges. I'm not saying you're not going to have difficulties. I'm just simply saying that now you have help. And if you stay close, he'll reveal secrets on how you can live the kingdom living on this earth. So you don't have to go through hell to get to heaven. So I really hope that you taken, have taken in what I've said. I really hope that you ponder these words in your heart. And the reason you don't see an image is because my image isn't worth saying. The importance is the message. I hope you got the message. Don't worry about yesterday. Don't worry about tomorrow. Yesterday is the past. It's behind you. Tomorrow may not happen. It's the future. You can't do anything about it. But today is the present. It's a gift. It's a present. So appreciate your present by what you do with today. Don't think about tomorrow. Don't think about yesterday. Think about today and doing the best you can today. And no matter what the situation calls for, always ask the Lord to forgive you for your sins because you sin whether you know it or not. Amen.